Today's a bit of a tough day. Uh, it's harvest day. So it's kind of bittersweet, I guess. We're going to harvest two of our pigs. So, yeah, first time doing this. So it's going to be a bit tough. I mean, I'm sure it's always going to be tough. Is this uh, homeschooling? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday on Thanksgiving Day. I got to take, I picked care of this pile here. All in there. I got one more pile. Friday evening and we're just kind of enjoying the fire inside relaxing and I hear a noise out and one of the pigs is out again Sadie again is out so we're gonna go figure out how she got out again God, darn it Oh, wow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> what the hell happened? They're all out. Well, no, just her. Same place. I'm trying to see where it would short out. female pig that's mean and another one that's a friggin' escape artist. This is not funny anymore. Come on. Come on, Sadie. Come on. of the, the, the fence in here touching the wire on the other side. Really? Yeah. Where? Here, I'll show you. I pushed it down some, but... It's right here. It's right in here. You see it? Oh. Yeah, I pushed it a little bit, but I couldn't quite get all of it. It was touching it. Oh, oh babe, are you okay? It's working now. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. that, I heard it. Yeah, that's where I saw it. Cause yep, I, I've that's, been, that's shorting it out right there. Okay, I've been going around looking. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, oh boy. Hi, I've been just looking. Ooh, are you all right? Yeah, okay, okay. let me get her right now. Okay, she's over there by the cow. Uh-oh. Might want to hurry, Elvira's getting pissed. Oh, 
All right, Elvira, calm down, Mama, calm down. You're gonna have to check this fence a couple times a day. Come on, Mama. Come on, babe. She's pissed. Come on. There you go. that babe <laughs> you want to check it just to make sure it's good again yeah. okay you sure you want to check it again Elvira's not happy right now. Elvira and Sadie are not the best of friends. Oh, go ahead, Mama. Check it out. All right, Elvira, calm down. There we go. Going back to the spot. There we go. Just another awesome night on the farm. A horny pig who is an escape artist, a master escape artist. It's almost like she knows. She knows, it's like, oh, it's not she, working. She knows to, to get the, to get something to touch that fence so oh, she no. can short it out. Oh. All right, time to get back to relaxing. Today's a bit of a tough day. Uh, it's harvest day. So it's kind of bittersweet, I guess. We're gonna harvest two of our pigs. So, yeah, first time doing this. So it's gonna be a bit tough. I mean, I'm sure it's always gonna be tough, but yeah. All right. Like I said, yeah, I'll bag it up right now. Here. the feet too. Like I said, today's a tough day. Um, they're harvesting two of our pigs. One's already done. I have it in the fridge. I had them cut it up into the three primal cuts. Um, but it's too much meat and I don't have room. So he's gonna take the other one to uh, Scott's meat. But uh, SoCal Mobile Butchering is amazing.
you can see his wonderful setup. Are those pigs in there? Uh, that's a bee on that side, and then a couple small pigs on this side. Oh, okay. So yeah, mine are huge. Yep. And I thought they were small. No. <laughs> no, not by any means. So I guess I'll keep keep with my feed. I'll do I do a, a dry cob. Yeah. Rolled barley, wheat bran, and soybean all mixed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I ferment it in water, diatomaceous earth. Yeah, and you started with I mean. These pigs probably had good genes. So oh yeah. If a pig doesn't have good genes, then you can feed it whatever you want. And it's yeah. Just, it's, only, the, its potential is only so much. You yeah. Know? Kind of like humans. Both the mom and dad were, if not a little bigger than what I got right now. Is this uh, homeschooling? Yep. <laughs> yep. It's awesome. Angie and I set out to be farmers and self-sufficient. So this is a big step for us. This is what we were, it's what we've been working towards. We gotta tell you it's hard, but as responsible meat eaters, it's better to do it this way than to not know where your meat is coming from. It's, it's difficult. 